Hey guys, welcome back to Nia Nirvana. Today's Pursuit to Paradise takes us to Hyatt Zalara in Montego Bay, Jamaica. An all-inclusive, adults-only resort with upscale accommodations, gourmet cuisine, private beachfronts, pools, and a world-class spa. Here we have a beautiful open lobby for check-in featuring lots of seating and concierge. As you can see, they wasted no time getting to the view. <laughs> I absolutely love this over the water bridge design, but we'll get back to the pool. Next up, the suite. In the meantime, please hit that like and subscribe button. So for your reference, we booked the Swim Up Junior Suite and it features a king bed, has a breakfast nook and seating area, a TV, ensuite bathroom, and a closet. Surprisingly, upon arrival, the fridge and minibar were empty, which was disappointing, but once we called front desk, someone brought a few items. There is also a tablet included with these suites, which I'll discuss more later. Here we have the ensuite bathroom featuring double sinks, toiletries, a hair dryer, scale, a walk in shower, and tub. And in the closet, we have a safe, iron, and ironing board. And now for my favorite part of the suite the swim up pool. As you can see, there is a small seating area outside as well, and then loungers in the pool. We definitely enjoyed having a swim up. And now back to the main pool. So it goes without saying, it's a beautiful design and I definitely love the waterfall feature as well. It's a very large pool, to the right you will see a swim up bar. And of course there are lots of cabanas, loungers and seating surrounding the pool area. Next up, we have the spa, which was beyond beautiful and felt very relaxing as soon as I walked in. Here we have the bathroom and the locker room used to store items when getting a treatment. And then this area is used for hydrotherapy treatments featuring a sauna, steam rooms, and plunge pools. Unfortunately, they were closed due to COVID. And then also there are four separate massage rooms, earth, water, wind, and fire. And they all open to a beautiful beachfront view. Speaking of beachfront. <laughs> As you can see, cabanas and lounge chairs for days. <laughs> Here we have the ocean gazebo and deck with absolutely beautiful water views. 
So just in case you didn't already know, Hyatt Ziva is just next door, which is the family-friendly sister resort. With the exception of children under 18, all guests have complete access to both resorts. So see that security guard to the left? He is the only barrier as you exit Zalara and enter Ziva. It's that easy. <laughs> Here we have Ziva's main pool, which is also designed beautifully. Straight ahead, you can see another swim up bar, and as you can see, many cabanas and lawn seating as well. I mean blue as far as your eyes can see. Next up, I'll show you Ziva's lobby area. Very bright and open with a beautiful waiting area as well. Just down the hall is a bar and lounge area and then just next door is a pastry and coffee cafe. And then of course, Ziva has its own Zen Spa. We are now entering the Rose Hall Village, which is the entertainment area for both resorts. Here we have some very nice photo op artwork. The first is an oversized chair in Jamaican colors with hashtag Ziva and hashtag Zilara. Next up is my favorite, hashtag Restaman. I think this one is probably paying homage to reggae music. And lastly, hashtag Jamaica, very self-explanatory. <laughs> This is the stage that's used for nightly entertainment and live shows. Wow, just gorgeous. And there's often live music as you can see here during the day. So the Rose Hall Village also houses bars, kids game rooms and gift shops, most of which unfortunately were also closed at the time due to COVID. Fortunately, all the restaurants were open. Here we have an international buffet restaurant with many options featuring kids stations and pasta stations. Due to COVID, however, it was not self-serve. And then likewise, back over at Zilara, here is another breakfast buffet where we were also served. And then there was Petit Patty. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly, <laughs> but it was our absolute favorite restaurant on the entire property. That's actually exclusive to Zilara guests. So my husband had a slight obsession with the lamb. <laughs> so we ended up going there two nights in a row and I'm sure you can see why. Everything was exceptional, amazing, and then some. Honestly, best hotel food we've ever had. Oh yeah, and did I mention there's a live pianist as well? <laughs> 10 out of 10, for sure. I thought I'd also show you guys another entertainment area. Here we have the grand ballroom terrace and lawn that's typically used for weddings and events. And just inside are indoor ballrooms and meeting rooms that I couldn't get into. I tried. <laughs> and then here's another live violinist during dinner. And we did spot a silent headphone party shortly after as well. So definitely a few options for entertainment. Next up, Zilara's Fitness Center. Now you guys know I don't visit these places on vacation. <laughs> I must say, it was very nice, spacious, with lots of equipment.
I should mention they take COVID very seriously at Hyatt, so masks are required, and as you can see, they sanitize common areas often. So Hyatt offers complimentary COVID testing for travelers if you're staying for three nights or more. Otherwise, it's gonna be $50 per person. So this is the area that the tests are done, and I got my results back by email within 30 minutes and went back for the printed copy in about an hour. There were also multiple gift shops at both resorts featuring souvenirs and essentials. I think I spotted about three or four between Zalara and Ziva. And lastly, remember the InSuite tablet that I showed you guys earlier? So it features information on the hotel, the spa, it has TV controls, entertainment, and all restaurants and bars including the hours, full menus, and the ability to order room service. So we definitely used it to order food, which was also amazing. Which brings me to the next thing. So I'm absolutely not sure if I was supposed to be back here or not, but I think I found out why the food is so good. They're growing it themselves. <laughs> so they had everything. Um, lettuce, pak choy, bell peppers, kalaloo, scotch bonnet peppers, and the list goes on right on the property. <laughs> And that's a wrap guys. If you made it this far, you might as well stick around for the review coming up in just a second. And in the meantime, please like and subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comments of Hyatt. Which resort did you prefer, Zilara or Ziva? And now for my overall rating. First up, price for value, five out of five. So as I mentioned earlier, we booked the Swim Up Junior Suite and the rate at the time of booking was $577 per night for two guests. And for reference, we booked in October. In my opinion, that's a good price point for what's offered, especially for anyone over 18 who gets to experience the complete amenities for both resorts because you essentially get access to two resorts for the price of one. We did our booking through Orbitz as they did have the best rate at the time of booking. At that time, rates started out at about $460 for the Junior Suite with Resort View, up to $818 for the one-bedroom Oceanfront Suite, which includes a butler. Location 5 out of 5 As the name suggests, Hyatt Zalara Rose Hall is located in Rose Hall, which is an exclusive area in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It's actually one minute away from other popular resorts like Jewel Grand and Hilton Rose Hall and just across the road from Rose Hall Great House, which offers great tours and one of Jamaica's best golf courses, White Witch Golf Course. It's only about five minutes away from the Montego Bay Hip Strip for anyone looking for more entertainment and restaurants and less than 10 minutes away from the Sangsters International Airport. Food and Chef 5 out of 5 Okay, listen to me and listen to me good. <laughs> Hyatt had the best hotel food I've personally ever had. Like, ever. We all know all-inclusive resorts are known to be a hit or miss for food and drinks, but every single meal we had was a 10 out of 10. The lamb and steak that we had at the French restaurant was on par, if not better than many high-end restaurants that we've been to. Like, I need someone to give the chef a raise. <laughs> Anyways, I can go on and on about this food. Let's just say I would go back to Hyatt just for the food, especially because we didn't make it to all the restaurants during this trip. Amazing. Design and cleanliness, four out of five. Hyatt Zalara is an absolutely beautiful property as you saw. It is also very clean and we were definitely pleased with housekeeping. My only disappointment was with the suite, at least the one that we were assigned. It definitely needed a little bit more updating and upkeep. The first night that we arrived, my husband barely leaned on the wall and a part of the vent fell off. If only I captured the look on his face. <laughs> Someone did come the following day and fixed it though, which was very good. And lastly, service and communication, 4 out of 5. So we were overall pleased with the service and communication that was provided. As I just mentioned, if we had a problem, someone was definitely available to help us at all times. One thing I did mention earlier that was disappointing was the mini bar and fridge in the suite being empty upon arrival. I found it unusual to have to call the front desk to get it stocked in the first place. And even though it's advertised as a daily service, no one ever came back to restock. And the overall score, 23 out of 25. Would I go back? Definitely.
If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. And if you loved it, please share and turn on your post notifications. As always, feel free to ask any questions or leave review requests in the comments. On to the next pursuit. Thank you so much for watching.